Hello everyone and welcome to the Prognard. I'm your host Jacob Williams and I'm shooting this video here on my uh, back porch while I'm barbecuing and uh, I wanted to take a minute and discuss the future of the channel if we could. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to light my uh, prop cigar here. Decided to do this in honor of Colindale, who is a uh, YouTube war gamer that I really admire. I think he's uh, hilarious and, uh, I don't know, I, doing my R&D, you know, uh, rip off and duplicate. So, uh, you know, here's to you, Colindale. So for those wondering, this is a Rocky Patel Edge, great cigar, lighting it with my uh, Fuck Communism lighter, you know, from the uh, popular comic book uh, series Preacher. Uh, and keep in mind, this is uh, being filmed outside, so you might hear a few cars go past, but um, you know, it is what it is. I don't have a professional studio or anything, so I make do with what I have. Wait for that car to go by. It's like sounds like two cars. All right, so let's talk about the future of the channel. Well, actually, let's talk about why I created the channel to begin with. I created the channel because I really just wanted to post four videos onto Board Game Geek, and doing it through YouTube was the best way to go about doing that and I wanted just to do a four-part series a strategy guide on Cuba Libre because I really felt like not very many people who are posting videos to BGG are doing strategy like almost everything is reviews unboxings uh, playthroughs things like that but no one's really doing in-depth advice or what I like to call discussions all right and so I wanted to do that with Cuba Libre because nothing else is out there. So I've already done those four videos, uh, which you should definitely check out if you're, uh, if you like Cuba Libre. So when I created the channel just to post these four videos, you know, I kind of wanted to have a name for it and I couldn't really think of anything and I wanted my own separate, uh, Google account to do that and thus I created the Prognard. Uh, now some of you might be wondering what is a Prognard? Well it's a term that I ripped off of a user named Scott Gunn on BGG and I'm not sure if he created the term or where it comes from but I think most of the people watching this will be familiar with the term Grognard which I believe is French for old soldier or specifically refers to a soldier in Napoleon's uh, army. And what Scott Gunn says a prognard is, is a person who grew up in the uh, 70s, 80s, and I'm going to put the 90s in there because that's kind of when I was a teenager and playing games. Uh, you know, we grew up on war games, but now in this golden age of board gaming, we'll play just about anything. So I really like that term. It resonates with me. So I went ahead and uh, used that for the channel. So to that end, how does that play into the future of this channel? Well, I want to do, if I make more videos, and I've got one other video recorded on Labyrinth, The Awakening, and after that I don't know how many more videos I'm going to make. It could be that this is the last video that I make for the channel. Uh, but something unexpected happened when I posted the videos for um, Cuba Libre. Uh, I got a few subscribers that I didn't really count on getting. Um, here's the deal. I need another hobby like I need another hole in my head, okay? Um, I'm the condo board president uh, for the association that I live in. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm actually, you know, 
training and working out and doing uh, bodybuilding to help deal with some of this. Uh, you know, I'm a family man. Uh, you know, I got a full-time job. I do a uh, podcast, which is called Punisher Body Count, which is the Nets Best podcast for all things Frank Castle. Check it out at PunisherBodyCount.com. Uh, catch it on iTunes, Stitcher. I mean, it's tentatively all about Frank Castle, a.k.a. Marvel's uh, Punisher, but it's kind of just a uh, two, two and a half hour uh, long dick joke is kind of what I think uh, happens with it. So I've got all these hobbies, uh, and I also have an old antique car, a 67 Mercury Cougar. Um, so lots of uh, fires on the stove, so to say. Um, so I, I never really set out to make a, an ongoing YouTube channel. But, you know, I have subscribers, and let's be honest, it's kind of inflated my ego a little bit. But I don't want to just make videos because I've got subscribers. You know, I kind of want to meet some sort of uh, underserved uh, demand. So that's kind of where I'm hoping you guys will come into. Um, email me or leave in the comments or hit me up on Board Game Geek what kind of videos you would like to see me make. Um, I guess if you really want to see me do reviews, I might do a few reviews here and there, but to be honest, I don't buy too many new games, and I, if you guys are wanting war games uh, specifically, uh, you know, it takes a while to learn those. It's rare that I get people to play uh, war games, because most of the people I play with, they like the real light stuff, like your Ticket to Rides, your... Uh, Settlers of Catan and this sort of thing. So it's rare that I get a uh, meaty war game to the table. I do a lot of solo war gaming, um, so I could do something on that. So if you really wanted to see reviews, I guess I could do something like that. Um, I would really like to keep it on what I call strategy videos or turn analysis videos or you know things that are a little bit meatier, because I feel that's where the community is not being served. So I've got a, uh, I've already shot it, so I don't know which order these two videos will get posted in, but I did what I call a turn analysis and a first to look at the Labyrinth expansion that uh, GMT just put out. And I think that's the kind of video that I would like to see that's uh, being underserved in the uh, community. Something that you can watch and then you can take the ideas from that videos into your games and help your uh, gameplay along. And as far as strategy guides, a couple of people joked around that I should do uh, strategy videos for the other coin games, which I guess is possible. Uh, I think the caution there is I've played Cuba Libre uh, far and above the most out of any of the coin games. I've got, you know, in the double digits of plays under my belt with, you know, a good mix of solo and face-to-face uh, -face games. Uh, the next best coin game, or the next coin game that I've had the most experience with might be Andy and Abyss. I've had one face-to-face -face game of that, and um, uh, a few uh, solo plays. Or no, I take that back, Fire in the Lake. I've had one, no, two play-by-email games, two face-to-face, no, three face-to-face -face games, and two or three solo games. I guess I know Fire in the Lake, the next best. Uh, but I don't feel I know any of those games enough to provide strategy on. I, I can't really confidently give you some sort of analysis that'll help you win. Though, if you guys think anything is better than nothing, then maybe I could do some sort of video on that. Uh, if you want to see a few Euro game uh, discussions you know I can do that so it's really up to you guys what you want to see because uh, for my part because I have so many hobbies I don't really need to shoot any more videos but if you guys want to see some stuff you know definitely let me know and we'll see 
uh, what kind of things that I can make. You know, definitely check out the uh, Labyrinth expansion video that I'm going to put up. And maybe you like uh, things like that. Uh, I don't know too much else to say other than, you know, if this is my last uh, video, you know, it's been great. You know, I hope I provided a lot of insight. I hope some of my strategies help you win some Cuba Libre games. And if it does, you know, definitely email me, you know, even if it's years later that uh, it worked out for you. And I'd definitely love to hear that. Um, you know, check out Punisher Body Count, another uh, shameless plug there. Um, you know, if you're ever in the uh, Indianapolis area and you want to get some war gaming in, uh, message me or something. But uh, let me know what you want to see. And if this is the last video, you know, it's been a real pleasure. So uh, take care.